Hi guys, my name is Kirsty Tancock and I'm a trustee of Live Life, Give Life. I'm also a face and body painter. So I'm here to show you how to do a beginner to sort of intermediate face paint of a sugar skull, also known as a skull fee. A skull fee comes from a sugar skull, which is the Mexican holiday, the Day of the Dead. The Mexicans decorate skulls to celebrate their ancestors. What we've done is we switched it around and we've called it the Day of the Living. And we're celebrating people who've had transplants and most importantly, the donors who have given them that opportunity. The products I'm using today are chameleon body paints. You guys aren't going to have access to these, but what you do have access to is WH Smiths. WH Smiths sells an eight pack of Snazaroo face paint. Okay, so first thing we're going to start with is the white. We're going to do a white base and we're going to use a sponge for that. Nice mist. Pick up my colour and start putting on my white. So I've just gone around my face, leaving the sockets of my eyes empty. And I'm just going to create the basic shape of the skull now. And how I'm going to do that is by uh, finding my cheekbones. I'm just going to pluck my lip. And draw a line. Okay. We'll do the same the other side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline my face as well. Okay, so I've done the sockets of my eyes. So the next phase is uh, to make kind of like a petal shape around the eyes. Okay. So I'm just doing like these little petal shape kind of things here. Going around. So I've done these pretty shapes. You could do that on both eyes and leave them like that. That'll look pretty cool and funky. It's just a little bit lighter than the green I have on my eyes. And um, so to do this, I've got my number two still, really versatile brush for Chameleon. I'm going to do a heart shape today. So just make a point, bring it down and around, down and around. So you're just doing an upside down heart and then you just fill in the colour. Okay, so we're going to go on to the lips now and I suggest sticking with um, a warmish colour, no blues, because otherwise it can make you look a little bit ill. So I'm going to go with a, a nice um, metallic-y pink here and you're just going to go around the lips. Uh, paint on the lips can be a bit strange, um, it can make your, your lips go a bit numb and taste a bit funny, so it's completely up to you if you want to paint your lips, otherwise you can just use lipstick, it'll be perfectly fine. Actually we're going to do a web down up on the forehead and that's really simple. 
And you just want to first draw a line down to kind of just above where your, your flowers end. Okay. And then from there, we're going to start wide and just draw a line in. And on the other side. They don't have to be perfectly straight. A little bit of a curve can actually give it some character. So I'm just going to go in a little bit around about here, make a dot, and then here, and finally there. So I've just kind of pinpointed where my lines are going to go in. And I do the same on the other side. So from those lines, I'm just going to draw to the point again. So we've got the beginning of our web. So we're going to start on the outside first and we just draw a little line quite close in, curved out. So just like that there. And you go from the end of that one over to the next, making that U shape again. And then onto the next one, and again, and again. See so how them all connecting. And just kind of connect them up all the way around. So, I'm going to start on the chin and make a dot. And then I'm just going to go over to the side and in a little and down a little bit and make another dot. And the same on the other side. And from there I'm going to start with the top one and drag it down and out. And the same again. And then starting from the other one, down and out to join the other petal. Down and out. And we've got a nice little flower shape here. So I'm going to fill that in with the colour now. So I've got the shape there. So going back to the lips, now things have dried a little bit. I'm going to just take, from the corner of my cheeks, and take a line out. And I'm going to take it near to this one, but I'm going to leave just a little gap. And then I'm going to start doing some lines down my lips. So these are to represent the teeth. Some people think they're stitches, but they're not. They're supposed to represent the teeth in the skull. Um, so guys, you don't have to do the lips. You can leave the lips white and then just do the lines um, to make it a little bit more masculine. It's just from these lines here, I'm going to draw a curved line down to the mouth. And the same the other side. And then I'm going to go back up, leaving a little gap. So, just like that. And then I'm going to fill that gap in. And 
And that just gives the sugar skull a little bit more of a skull shape. So from there, we're just going to go up to our temples. Of that skull shape in the face. So I think now we need to just add some outlines to make everything pop. Okay, so I've just gone round the petals, the nose, and round the, the green of the eyes. And I'm just going to do these petals. So you can go all the way in. We're going to take a different colour, and I think we're going to take an orange um, just to, to stand out the hue on, against the pink because I think it looks really cool. Um, just pick whatever colour you think is going to stand against the colour you've already put, if you've got a Sanazaru. The middle to create just a slightly different hue. And that pink and that orange really go nicely together. So, I'm going to come off my flower. even on the other side and do the same thing. Some lovely little swells coming off of the pink. And the same on the other side. And again, it doesn't matter if you do this all in the same colour, I'm just trying to mix the colours up to make it look a little bit more colourful. So splodge and in, splodge and in. Lodge and in. And again on the other side. So we've just got some nice little detail there. I'm going to do a couple more just coming round from here. And you just drag it round to the shape you want it to be. So we're just going to come up to the ear and we're going to do a nice little swell down to meet the others. I think we'll try some little flowers, uh, some little hearts, sorry. And I'm just going to do some swirls on the cheekbones. And I just want to incorporate some orange up here, so I'm just going to do some teardrops. So you can take this wherever you want to and just think of it as a real celebration of organ donors in such a beautiful way because it is such a special gift, the gift of life. So please, 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 just try and do whatever you can to represent how amazing this is um, because nothing we ever do is really going to be quite enough is it and the next step is to take a picture of your skull food so I'm going to take my picture and then from there I'm going to go onto Facebook and I'm going to upload my skull fee. And I want to let everyone at Live Life know that I've done a skull fee. So I'm going to hashtag it, skull fee. And then from there, I'm going to tell everybody what it's for. And then after you've done that, and you've posted it, you're going to text skull14, so that's S-K-U-L 14, plus the amount you'd like to donate. So I'm going to donate £10 because I'm really generous. And you text 70070.